Hey guys, Sunday Slot Cars here, and I thought it'd be a fun little challenge to get this box, so the, the standard LEGO vehicles, onto the build and race chassis. When I was looking at this through the store, right, I just looked at it, I'm like, this looks pretty much like it's a 143rd scale. Like, I'm just judging it, the box looks big, but I'm like, the box is usually, you know, there there's less than in it than what the box makes it seem like. So, I take it out, and I get the pieces out. And immediately, the one thing I notice is the chassis is indeed pretty much the same size. Like, there's some different level differences and everything. And there's some wings that come out. But for the most part, it's like the same chassis. So the very first thing I decided to do is, I'm like, okay, you know what I'm going to do is, there's there's two extra pieces that are supposed to go on the sides. I just attach them to the side of the chassis itself. Because the chassis has these little Lego connectors to the sides. So I immediately realized my mistake and that it just wasn't going to look right. Really, all you had to do is just attach it to the bottom of the side piece and then just attach that side piece just so it overhangs a little bit instead of being like fully, fully down. Because I'm like, it just looks better to have the yellow piece. So I just pretty much just immediately uh, undid what I did. And I was kind of a pain in the butt because those like small bricks are kind of hard to uh, to do. What do you mean by do? Like remove? To remove, yeah. They're really tight and they're small. So you kind of have to fiddle around. Not a good time. Are you sure you weren't having a great time building? I had a bit of a fun time building, okay? Now, this was a challenging build because I'm not over... Uh, the, the, the age group here says 5+, plus, so I already knew I was in some trouble, and I'm also not Australian, so, you know... What does that mean? <laughs> Just a little reference. So, the wheels uh, obviously are not at all going to line up with the wheel covers. I'm, I'm not a car guy. I have no idea what those things are called. But the wheel covers, it just, you can obviously tell them that the same wheels aren't designed for it. You cannot take the wheels off of the Carrera chassis, okay? So don't try it to replace them with the Lego wheels. It's, they're, they're permanently stuck on the axle. You're just going to break your model if you try to switch out the tires. Don't do it. This is for the children watching this who, you shouldn't be watching this. This is not, this is not made for kids. Don't watch this video. Seriously. Okay, so I tried to get the Lego man to fit inside the vehicle with his stupid little hat, and it wasn't going to happen. Is it because of how Th you a, built it? Yeah, there's a height difference in the Carrera chassis. Now, what I could have done before I did this build was, I could have uh, put like a smaller block down, like one of those skinny long blocks to kind of even it out with the rest of it. Yeah. But I didn't do it because I was like, this is going to look fine, and for the most part, I think it does. So to get past this problem, I just took a stupid little hat off. But you won't, you lose the effect though, wouldn't you? I don't really think you could see it. I don't think it does, because you can't really tell. You know, you're not going to be able to tell. Okay, so the most important question. Can this run on the Carrera Go track? Like, this is this looks pretty heavy to me. What about you? That feels pretty heavy compared to the two pieces of the truck. Do I have those pieces on me? Yes, I do. So compare all that to these two. So these two are what would normally be on it versus this intricate thing over here. So let's see. Here we go. And yes, it does. It works. And for the record, I really didn't do anything different for this build. Like I didn't really improvise or do anything else. It was really suspiciously similar to the Lego one. Almost like it was kind of meant for it. <laughs> Did you think there was some cooperation there? I don't think it was so much cooperation as Carrera maybe, uh, you know, went as far as they could go to make it easy as possible to convert these little things. So your mileage is going to vary. I have no idea if there's different chassis. I feel like there might, there probably isn't, but uh, yeah, these, for the 143rd scale cars for the uh, build and race sets, uh, these little uh, little boxes here seem to work pretty good for uh, make it, getting these model cars. So, uh, yeah, I really this is why I suggest people to get the build and race stuff because especially for kids who already have like blocks like Legos, you could just put you know you get to make a bunch of different slot cars and have a, they're all gonna drive differently because of the weight and everything. So like how cool is that? Now hopefully we get the one thirty second scale ones, but I, I gotta tell you the Lego Technic or whatever the the bigger versions of these. Okay. They're 124 scale. So you will absolutely have to be modifying those if you decide to go that route. But if this looks cool to you and you want to get some the set. Now, I don't sell the, the blocks, but if you want to get the set like this, 
you can go to sunday slot cars.square.site. We actually have two build and race sets you can get. I believe one's 90 and one's 110. Uh, at the time of recording, like I said, if we have to redo a restock, the prices will be up. And the difference is the amount of track and stuff that comes in it. Uh, there are pros and cons to both. I would just spend the extra, like, I just go for the $110 one myself and get that extra track. But there's nothing wrong with the $90 one. If you're, like, limited on space, you might want to go for the $90 one. Seriously, I really think this turned out really nice. Like, leave in the comments, do you think it turned out nice? Yeah, I have a little bit of gaps here and everything. But remember, I could, like, get rid of these little, uh, little gaps if I just put something underneath. Underneath here. To, to make it rise with the rest. Hmm. So yes, quality engineering. Oh, wow, well, I really hope we keep recording. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah! We didn't disconnect the microphone. High five. Woo! Don't forget to subscribe. And before you... Yeah, go ahead. We did open up the TikTok. So you can find us. Sunday Slot Cars is the handle. Not post anything on there yet. For now, it's probably going to be what we already have here on YouTube. But if you're prefer to watch things on TikTok, then go find us there. Help us get a following there, I guess, by following us there. All right. So talk to you guys later. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.